Go, baby. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, on the lips. Up. Oh. Up. So we are going, uh, heading out to go cross country skiing. There's, there's finally enough snow. We, I don't, did we even go? We went, no, last year we went a lot. Yeah. We, we haven't been this year though. And uh, we haven't been across uh, the new bridges. No, so that'll be fun. Yes. Only one new bridge, right? The new bridge, yeah, there's yeah. One, one bridge. So um, Jack has outgrown all of his ski gear and we, we got him new dirt bike stuff and new downhill stuff and we haven't gotten him cross country because I, we didn't think he, where he was going to go enough, so if we were going to go, we are going to borrow a bag or steal, but, um, so it's just us. It's a date. It's a date. It's a date. He's babysitting. It's a date, and we'll, we'll you guys can come along. <laughs> See the new bridge. <laughs> How romantic, huh? <laughs> are, are you going to have to edit certain parts out? So, you were, you've already been out today, and I haven't. How cold is it? Is it which hat? This hat's thicker, this one's thinner. I like that one. That, that's the, oh, those are the new ones I got for you, right? Yeah. You're so lucky you married someone with such good taste. So I went out, uh, I took the dirt and bike. And humble too. Humble too. <laughs> I, went, I, took the, I went out for a dirt bike ride this morning in the snow. It was so fun. I tried to talk Jack into going with me, but he was just not having it. He's just not experienced enough to feel comfortable doing anything extra. Talk about that coat that you struggled with. Oh, so I had a coat that I purchased, I got in 1994. And I just... It was still working, so I just I didn't I wasn't gonna get rid of it. I was gonna I put, brought it downstairs to wash it, and I realized it had numerous cuts along the back. I've used it for composting in my garden. Jack has used it. I finally said, okay, it's given up the ghost. It's no longer waterproof. It's got tons and tons of holes in it. But yeah, ninety four. So I thought I mean I got my twenty four years out of it. It was pretty good, pretty good purchase. Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer, way to go! One of the first Gore Tex coats ever. I know you're excited. I know you're. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Uh, uh Stay calm. Did you wax your skis? <laughs> I have done nothing. I've been feeding a baby. <laughs> so you've been making, you made soup today, so we have fresh soup to come home to. That's right. So this is the first scary downhill. This goes to the Elderberry Bridge, and it's it's pretty steep for, for cross-country skis. It you is. want to go first? No. <laughs> All right. Actually, if you go first, you'll... uh. Less like less chance of crashing because you'll have to plow. It is slower. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Lucy. See, you always want to go first in the fresh snow. Oh, my dirt bike, it tore everything up. Look out, heart racer. I'll mow you down. And across the bridge. Oh, that wasn't so bad. She's really been trained. She jumps off the trail immediately when we come through. We've skied with her since she was a puppy. All right, Mrs. W. I'm out of your way. Heart racer, look out. Go, baby. Oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I went down hard there. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I just got snow everywhere. Miss Pants, you barker. She is. Heart Racer doesn't bark. Heart Racer is the barker in the house, though. Look at Heart Luke. Racer. She's gone missing. Where She's is she? She's right there. She Did you see the fox? Yeah, there's, that's not the Heart Racer. It's a little red fox right there. <laughs> so do you see the, the pond here is uh, about half frozen over. It hasn't froze at all this year. Usually we got there and play broom hockey. So this is the worst possible situation. It's steep and it's bony and there's like my, your skis hit stuff and they stop and then I've already went down twice. Mrs. W is taking the low road. Did you call that the smart road? Oh man. It's... Did you bet you'd be on the 
Oh, no, no. Oh. Heart racer. Oh, it's not helpful. Lucy. Oh, good grief. She's like a St. Bernard. A rescue dog. She's a good girl. I just love her. Oh, yes. Intrepid, intrepid ski dog. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Hi, Ginger Sue. How are you? Are you having a good time? Okay. So you love a life. Good grief. Ah. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it's the camera. <laughs> if you weren't carrying the camera, I'm sure it wouldn't happen. It's the camera. It's the camera. Oh, our racer's back. Oh, <laughs> <my grief. laughs> You know what they say? Don't ski on, on camera. No, you can ski on camera, but you just want to have a. a you want. You want see, I think her feet get cold. So anything she can stand on that's not snow, she's all over it. You're a good girl. Oh, on the lips, off, <laughs> off. All right, you want to run the camera? No. Oh. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I'll follow you. You, you want me to do the camera? No, I got it. We're uh, we're not even out of the woods yet. We're into it. We're going into the woods. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the spooky woods, one of our favorite places. The balls are still up, which is lovely. The majority of them, we had a windstorm and we lost a few. Not too many though. Danger ahead! Danger! Yeah, this is the worst part right here. So well, let's... let's... I, I think it's worse since you logged it. Because there's like, <sighs> before we used to be able to shoot straight down, but now there's all those branches. I'd just jump over them. Let's see you. Let's, uh, let's go down <laughs> side by side. Wh which way are you going? Are you just going to angle down through there? Well... Oh, I'm going to eat it for sure right there. I mean, there's all that stuff to... Let's, uh, let's angle to the right a little bit, because I'm, I'm not afraid of going down it, but it's the... Those sticks sticking up, they grab my skis and then they, they put, pull you down. They hurt. Okay, ready? Yeah, just kind of uh, side angle it. <laughs> it's oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It doesn't it's seem so like bad. Oh. You just can't explain it, can you? <laughs> it's time for the treacherous water crossing. You can do it. <sighs> Not very treacherous this year. Where are the extra bridges left? The most treacherous part is the water that freezes on the bottom of your skis. <laughs> there we go. This was the great place for a bridge, wasn't it? Yeah, we need one here. Whoops. Oh, my skis are completely stuck. It's never mind. They're, They're not gliding at all. No glide. That's okay. Down, down to one pole, I had to use my poles for the tripod to get that epic, epic shot right there. <laughs> You'll do, you'll do anything for a video, won't you? Baby? Yeah, it's a lot of work. All right, the final stretch home. So we would have tried out the new sled, but Jack was sick, and then Dee was sick, and now I'm congested. You can probably hear it in my voice. And yeah. we didn't want to. I didn't want to bring her out. Yeah, we were. We're gonna uh, maybe tomorrow. She's on the mend, but we'll yeah. give her one more day. Yeah, we just kind of felt like, oh, a little congested. I still have to build the handle, but I could kind of make a uh, impromptu one. Okay. All right, let's let's do the final pole home. That was great. Super fun. So we had the we had the best idea uh, as we were coming up here. So we've got we've got all the targets uh, out there. The six steel targets. We thought. What we should do is to call some friends and have a party and have a, a biathlon. Can yeah. you explain what a biathlon is? It's so where you will ski and your heart rate will go way up and then you have to lie down flat or stand and you shoot at a target and then you go to the next one. And so oftentimes what happens is like if you have, in the Olympics, if you hit, you're supposed to hit five and if you miss one, I think you have to do an extra lap uh, it's in skiing. Or, or time. Or time. Here's but, what, go ahead. It might be more fun to have people ski an extra lap. 
So what I was thinking is um, it's not really a lap. It's kind of an out and back. What we could do is we could set up, Brian and I could set up the stations tomorrow. Uh -huh. Um, and then we'll, we'll just use pist pistols because okay. I have the two chest harnesses that have, you know, matching pistols. Okay. So you go down to the, you ski down to the first spot and then you shoot three rounds. Okay. And for each one you miss, it adds 30 seconds where you have to sit there and wait and the other person can go on. Oh. So if you, <clears throat> if you stop and you shoot three rounds and you put all three on target, then you go immediately. But if you miss, you have to look at your watch and you have to sit there and wait. If you miss all three, you'd have to wait a minute and a half. That's mean. Well, 15 seconds. I think it's 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyways. So that would be fun, wouldn't it? That'd be really fun. Hey! What are you wearing, you, cutie? You cannot videotape this. What are you wearing, cutie pie? What are those boots? My friend who is always cold gave them to her. So stoor. So stoor, yeah. Yeah. So see Yeah. Fist. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I think that, that she is the cutest baby I've ever seen, but I know I'm biased. You agree with me, right? I agree. Well, we must be right. You Except are. for Jack, of course. He of was cute, course. right? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard to get a smile out of her sometimes, though. Oh, no. <laughs> time for a nap. <laughs> it really is time for her nap. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. That's what Mama said. So, uh, you go up the, you ride the whole spine of that thing and then it drops off to the left there oh, and nice. try to stay on the top. <laughs> Hit the kill switch. <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that hard. <laughs> okay, so let's do uh, let's do snow flat track. Yeah, uh, we have a, a go around. Let's see, how's that go? We have a, a loop, a ring here. We'll just go around these trees. Around here, around, around, to see <laughs> to the left, turn to the left. Yeah, no, I gotta work on my uh, my turning. <laughs> That's like the world's hardest flat track racing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel that way too. <laughs> okay, you ready for a race? <laughs> let's, let's uh. Down let's, the trail here. Let's race up here. Give, give me a five second head start. All right. So. And then <laughs> we'll uh, race to the barn. To the barn. All right. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I see what your strategy was. <laughs> what? I see your strategy. What was it? Oh, you put me on the bike. I'm afraid to crash. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was touch and go, man. Although I just pin, I put it second gear and pinned it. Yeah, just, oh. <laughs> I saw a couple of questionable lines back. Oh. There. <laughs> I was uh, yeah, especially right here. I was uh, I hit went through a tree or a bunch of branches. <laughs> like if I stop, I'm dead. Okay, you want to do a water crossing? Yeah, let's see if we can get that. Water crossing. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so when I uh, when I started up and I came off here, I rolled on the throttle and it just went all the way. Oh. And I had to hit the kill switch because it just took off from under me. Scary. Yeah. So it, it feels like. It's bound it's up somewhere. Like it's got frost in it. Well, I can feel. I can feel it. It might be the. Uh, that's that's disconcerting. Maybe the slide is frozen or something. Maybe it could be. You wouldn't think so with the engine running, but maybe, yeah. maybe that uh, water splashing on there froze. Yeah, that's spooky. I can, <laughs> see, I can feel it catching. Yeah, I went to roll off and nothing happened. Uh, it's like, oh, uh oh. I think you had the presence of mind to uh, <laughs> hit the kill switch. Well, you're lucky you didn't get hurt. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are you comfortable with riding it? You want me to ride it? Yeah, ride it for a little bit. See what it does for you. Okay. <laughs> Get back on the one point. That's a that's a pretty ferocious thing to have the throttle stuck on. I think I've mentioned this before, but these videos are always uh, the most, for me, the most satisfying type of videos to make. They don't garner the most views and, and um, you know, as some of, the, some of the other stuff, but uh, they certainly generate um, a flood of uh, personal messages and, and, and support for the channel that uh, is, a, is a blessing, a great blessing, more than you guys will ever know. Um, it helps keep me in perspective life into perspective and I, I enjoy these videos uh, I guess they're as much for or me maybe more for me than than for anyone else uh, because they are um, a visual reminder of um, how blessed we are uh, as a family uh, it's easy to lose sight of that um, I don't know why the default position is to go into uh, always thinking about the things that we don't have or the things that we lack or things that are just not quite perfect and I feel uh, sometimes you'll hear something, a, a story like we shared yesterday about the mother who lost her two sons. And an uh, interesting thing is a comment came in as I was just finishing up this video from um, one of my subscribers. It was a private message, and I'm going to keep his name private. And I hope he doesn't mind that I share it. But, um, we'll call him Bob. Uh, I put his message up there on the screen. But uh, Bob is... Um, uh, he's in bed, um, anticipating, or he's waiting uh, for a surgery where he's going to have his... Um, his right leg amputated below the knee and uh, these videos have um, um, kind of helped him given him encouragement and kept his mind off of um, uh, off of this this horrible thing um, I mean can you imagine it would be one thing to be in an accident and to wake up and, and to have an amputation like that but to have um, weeks to, to sit and to think about it uh, to me is um, um, it, it's that would be tar that would be hard that would be really hard and I wanted to you know I guess I wanted to give 
you a message, Bob, I'll speak to you um, personally, is that um, um, just remember, I, I don't know if you're a man of faith or not, but I can tell you one thing, that God is real. Uh, and he exists, and he knows and understands, and he feels uh, the pain. He's gone through what everything that we've gone through and worse. Um, he's given his only son uh, for people who spit in his face. And he can, he can appreciate and he can understand it. But I want you to take solace in this. It's that although things may go bad in this life, and we may have terrible losses and, and ailments and, 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 and have to go through... Uh, procedures like you're going through it's a it's a temporary thing and I'll, I'll just close with this the uh, one of the most iconic and inspirational uh, verses ever written by um, uh, a Christian author was a uh, John Newt Newton and I think it was 1778 or 1779 he's the man who wrote Amazing Grace and if you read his story uh, what led up to him writing this song um, the, what he lost was was something greater than most of us will ever experience. But I'll sum it all up in the very last verse, and it goes, When we've been here 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we'd first begun. And what he's talking about is that when we are in the kingdom with the Lord, and when we have been with him in in a wonderful place in the presence of our Heavenly Father and no more sickness and no more death and no more pain when we look upon the short lifespan that we have whatever it whether it be 50 60 70 90 even 90 years it's going to seem as a nothing it's going to be see seem less significant than uh, a time when we were five and we fell off our bike and scraped our knee so take solace in that and know that if you just hang on and uh, keep close to God and he will provide you the things that you need to get through this trial and when you come on the other side you won't have any regrets and to me once again